All right, welcome to Professional Body Treatments Using 2L Body Care by Avis Aesthetics. My name is Lori Nastori. I am President and CEO, and I will be showing you two different body treatments today, the detoxifying mud wrap and a contouring body wrap. So, professional treatments coming your way. Let's go through the products here. Too Well Wrap Cream has three primary ingredients that help with the body contouring wrap. Menthol nicotinate increases your blood flow and really allows products to penetrate the skin. Eucalyptus helps detoxify and helps also clear congestion. Caffeine is great for reducing puffiness. It helps dehydrate fatty cells, which minimizes the appearance of cellulite. Intensify Pro is the enhancer to the wrap cream. Its job is to boost the circulatory action of the wrap cream. It is really primarily niacin. And if you've ever taken niacin internally, it creates a flush. And that's the entire job of the Intensify Pro is to increase the circulation, which then helps energize the cell and helps fight free radicals. Relax Botanical Booster Pro is our essential oil blend that we use both in our 2L facials as well as our contouring body wraps. Mandarin softens and improves skin texture. Rosewood helps stimulate cells and regenerate tissue. And black pepper helps circulation. We used to actually measure people and do this inch loss per body wrap thing. And we have moved beyond that to just looking at long-term results. This is a compression wrap in plastic, but no sweat. It's really interesting that you could actually stimulate the circulation of the skin, wrap somebody in plastic and have them not sweat. There are really two different reasons that you and your clients would promote a body wrap or you would promote this to your clientele. One is long-term changes on the body. So long-term changes would be I am going to change the way I eat, I'm going to change the way I exercise, and I would like my body to change a little quicker along the way with me than if I didn't do the body wraps. That kind of treatment sequence is that you would schedule one wrap a week for say six weeks and then reevaluate. And what happens is as the client is taking on their new way of eating and their new exercise regime, their body is changing more rapidly because of the body wrap than it would without it. The other reason you would bring in a body wrap into a treatment for your clientele is they have a wedding coming up or their 40 year high school reunion or something that they just have a dress they'd like to get into for that moment. And in that case, you would schedule them two to three times a week for maybe two weeks short term Still really good results, but you have to keep in mind that they are short-term results. So let's go ahead and get started with the body treatment. You really wanna make sure when you are doing your consultation with a client that you instruct them what to wear and what possible results and effects that they might have. So if they're coming from work, make sure they bring something that's really comfortable to put on afterwards. Their underwear will get products on them. You don't want them wearing super expensive underwear nor a swimming suit that's not comfortable at all. And then um, make sure that they haven't partied too much the night before because if you've got a lot of alcohol or super rich food residue, it will detoxify you a little faster than perhaps you would have wished. Time to mix up our products for our body contouring wrap. Besides, the 2L products I've gone through already, you will need the cheapest or least expensive plastic wrap that you can find. The more expensive stuff is stiff and it breaks instead of stretches. So you want inexpensive plastic wrap. Pumice gloves that I'm going to put on a dry brush. If you have a regular handheld dry brush, you can use that as well instead of pumice gloves. Medical scissors. The thing about these medical scissors, it has this little flat side and when you are cutting somebody out of the wrap, you need this utterly blunt section so you don't cut them as well as them out of said wrap. 
and then gloves that you will wear when you're applying the body contouring product. It's very high in niacin, it's very flushing, and you need to keep your hands out of it as much as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the mixing. I will actually put my gloves on first because again, it is super high in niacin, all of the products combined, and it's better for me that I can just start. One and a half to two ounces of wrapping cream, two different sizes, 2L wrap cream comes in the gallon if you do a whole lot of body wraps or 16 ounce if you do not or you're just getting started. One and a half, two ounces of that, uh, about eight drops or so of the Relax Botanical Booster. I actually know how many drops are in a dropper. I had to count them one time to check for cost of goods per service. So it's about half of a dropper. And then three to 10 pumps of the Intensify Pro. The model I'm using for this demonstration has not had a body wrap. I'm only going to use three pumps. So one, two, three. And that is my mixture. I will mix it up with my hand and then I will apply it directly to my model. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin with a dry brush and I'm going to actually use pumice gloves. And if you can tell, I put the pumice gloves on over my latex, whatever type of gloves that you're going to use for your body treatment because you want these gloves on for the wrap product to protect your own hands. But it's just a go over the body with either the pumice gloves or a dry brush, whatever is your choice. It helps exfoliate the skin, which means that everything that you put on over that will be more absorbed. So it's a quick once over, including of course legs and butt, there, the back, upper back, shoulders and everything. Again, it's just a kind of like a little exfoliation starts the stimulation going and gets ready for the wrap. So that's it, just a simple once over with a dry brush. Time to apply my wrapping cream mixture. If you would put your hands kind of in prayer position, it'd be great. Now one of the things, turn around first, I'm going to show you that we do is we pull, yes we do, we pull their underwear straight up the crack of their butt, much to their dismay before we start to put on the products or actually wrap them. But who doesn't want their butt wrapped? I mean, come on, it's why we're, we're in there in the first place. This is cold. Before you put it on the belly, see what I did? I kind of had my hand a little bit closed before I put it on. As I say, every time you work on the stomach, it's gotta be clockwise. But this is just get the products on more than it is any like technical anything it's just covering the body with the product so I'm cold and it's cold here the reason that I have gloves on is because this is got a lot of niacin in it and it's exactly what you want for the body, but it's not what you want on your arms while you're actually working. So here, and then a tiny little bit upper arms. And then a little bit right here. And now I'm going to start the wrapping process. Okay, with your hands still in prayer position, when you are working on a client, you can actually focus a little more on what they would consider their problem areas by knuckling. It is not a lot of time, nor is it a whole lot of pressure. You don't want to hurt them. You just want to give it a little bit more focus. So I'm going to, like I said, kind of knuckle on each side, a little bit on her butt. And now I can start with the plastic wrap. What you do when you start a body wrap, and it's a lot of work until you get the hang of it. When you get the hang of it, it's about five to seven minutes. But at the beginning, it is, you get dizzy and you think, oh my gosh, this is crazy. 
but I'm going to kind of set the stage for the wrap. And I'm going to just do a little bit of a mini skirt. Because what this does, and I want to show you something. I am stopping here and pulling just a little, uh, 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 and pulling. <laughs> Start where I'm stopping here. Did I tell you to turn? <laughs> no, I you're guiding me. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm stopping here. Because you are starting to render your client immobile and unable to actually just move very much, you have to make sure you keep them in balance. So anytime you pull on the plastic wrap, kind of brace against them so they don't get off balance. Now I'm not doing this super tight, I'm just getting it set in place. Because if you don't put this on and you just start to wrap like the thighs and the butt, it slips on down. So the reason that you're doing this whole starting wrap process is so that the plastic wrap will actually stay in place. Now I'm going to do this weird over the shoulder thing. Okay, let me go through. There you go. And the reason that I'm doing this, it depends on how your client is built. If your client is super straight up and down, then this will just roll on down. If they're very hourglass, you know, this is regardless of size, people still have an hourglass or straight up and down shape. If they have a real hourglass, then the plastic wrap will stay in place. But I have found that it's easiest, I'm gonna go over the shoulder again, mm -hmm. like that, to do that. And then regardless of their shape, you've got a good foundation for the wrap to stay in place when you start the, what we would call the real body contouring part of it. So I'm gonna go once more around and then just do that. Okay, first stage is done. Now that we have the foundation set for the wrap, I have to actually cut so that I can kind of do each butt, cheek, and each thigh. I have these medical scissors that I went through with you that you need, and we are going to cut literally right along the underwear, kind of a Y like that, and I'll turn around and cut straight up the crack of the butt, being very careful not to cut their underwear. You have to know that the only time you're going to cut their underwear is if they wear their most expensive. Never let the client wear their best underwear because that's when you'll cut it. Okay, time to actually start the focus on the body compression wrap. Time to focus and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one leg and butt facing and then have her turn around so you can really get both directions. So you start at the waist. I'm gonna have you open up your legs a little bit more and now I want you to hold, yeah, you can kind of like that. And you drop straight through, and this is the fun part for us anyway. You go straight up the crack of your client's butt and you come down a little. Here, relax your left arm, there. And what you're doing, what I'm doing is I'm coming down a little bit further, hold. And now, did you see how I shifted my weight balance? This is one of those things that you have to be really comfortable when you're doing it. I want you to bend just a little bit and you go all the way down to the ankle. You don't need to come back up, you just go all the way down. Okay, I'm going to have her turn around and we'll do the other side. So you can see from this side now what I'm actually doing. You start at the waist, have the client hold it in front. And when I say nose it through, this is what I mean. Open up your legs a little more for me and straight up the crack of the butt. Again, it's a bit alarming the first time you do this treatment. Hold, nose it through and you're working your way down a little bit every single time. Hold, here. And I have a tendency every time I do a wrap that I'll be on one side of the leg and then I go to the other side so that it doesn't get tiring. Because again, it's a lot of work and slightly bend. And if you can see, I'm not even really holding onto the plastic wrap. It's almost more open hand because your fingers will go right through it if you, there you go. Okay, 
I'm going to turn her around and we'll start the focus wrap part of it. It depends on how your client is built and where you will focus the most tension on. I'm going to have her stand with her arms in prayer position again. And in effect, I'm going to go belly, butt, thighs, butt, belly. That's kind of what I'm going to do and it's going to be quite snug. Have her put her feet together, which is surprisingly hard when you have plastic wrap going up the crack of your butt in a compression wrap. It feels very strange. It's an interesting treatment that the first time you get it done, it's really strange, and the second time you go to sleep almost immediately. So, now time to start. See what I'm doing? Much more snug than when I was doing the very first one. I am stopping alongside the client every single time. Not out here, because that's where they'll get out of balance, but right next to the client, pulling and walking. It's this part that takes you a little while to get the hang of because you actually learn how much plastic wrap to let out in this part so that you can make it all the way around the client. Nice and snug. Come on up all the way to the bottom of the bra. One more time. And there. If you have any, if it's rolled at all, what you will see is you'll see an actual cut in the skin. This, hers looks pretty good. You can just kind of pull it and release it. So if you've had it roll down at all and there's any real divots, just grab that and pull it and you'll break the tension right there. You don't want the circulation to be cut off, even though it's very compressed and you can see that she's quite red. I'd like to show you something to do if you have a client that has what we will call an apron that you need to actually lift. You don't actually fold that apron of skin and fat on down. You want it to lift into place. So I'm going to have you hold again in prayer position. And what you do with this is you come around and I want you to see how I'm holding the plastic wrap. It is horizontal to the ground. And you do this with it. If you can see the actual area of the wrap is very small. And I work my way around. And now I'm going to come around to the belly again. And I'm going to keep it, if you can see that, much smaller. And you lift the apron up into place so that it's there for the wrap as opposed to just wrapping and flattening. You always have to figure out how to do a wrap based on the body you're working on and make it custom to that body and what you're working with. All right, when you go to do the arm, you put the arm on the shoulder and you actually turn their head away because they will look at you. I always keep a couple of rolls ready to go because inevitably during the wrap, you end up with one that is partially broken and you just wanna pick it up and keep going. And so, just a couple times around, there. Come on over to this side on your shoulder. And if this is too tight here, just break it. You don't want to constrict the circulation. Okay, that's the body wrap. Now the really fun part is getting them on the table. It's exciting for everybody. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Here comes the really fun part, getting the client on the bed. It is easier than you would expect, but it's quite awkward and actually kind of funny. So I'm going to totally peel the blankets and sheet away, have my model back up to the table and put your hands down on the table like this. And literally, you're just going to, it's leverage. So lean back. You would be surprised at the large clients that you can get on the bed just like that. You can't do it with muscle. You have to do it with leverage. So I'm going to go ahead and cover my model. At this point, you put a pillow under their knees. You put something under their neck. 
and they're going to sit in this for 40 minutes. So it's a little unnerving for the client to be in this wrap and laying down for the very first time. You wanna make sure you just don't say, okay, great, have a good snooze and leave. Make sure that you tell them for their first time, I'm gonna leave the door open, I'll be right outside. If you need me for anything, just say my name and I'll be able to hear you. The other thing that you do when you get a client here is you say, how are you doing? Can you breathe? Is everything okay? If they say, I'm kind of short breathed a little bit, you can literally just cut the plastic wrap right here and release the rib cage just a little bit. Just don't cut all the way down, just do a little bit of cut right here, release the rib cage. You want to make sure the client is mentally calm as well as physically comfortable for their first 40 minutes. I know I said earlier, but by the second wrap, they go to sleep almost immediately. It's just the first one that you really have to monitor and make sure they're completely cozy. So we're going to give her 40 minutes and we'll be back in a little bit. Time to cut my client out of the plastic wrap. Also somewhat disconcerting for the client for their first time. I'm going to, every time you cut them out, you actually put your finger underneath, even though it's not sharp, it still makes them feel better that they feel your finger instead of the scissors. So you cut their arms out first. Cut here and here and just a little bit there. Let me come on around. See, I kind of let it, let my finger be the guide and I do it that way. All right, let's come around and start on the legs. Now they get really cold. They'll start to shiver, which might be uncomfortable, but shivering burns more fat than sweating does. So I like to tell the clients you're losing weight right before your eyes. Okay, don't go directly over the front of the leg. You want to go on the more meaty parts. Depends on how their legs are. Right, see, on top of my finger. I'm going to come around. Do not go over the hip bone. Don't go right over here. Go more towards the center. And then straight up there. And cover up. Go do the other leg. And again, this is when they get cold. So here. Scissors are always on top of my finger. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop that now. Last chance to cut their underwear. Okay, so here, here, help the client sit up. Kind of unpeel them from all the various pieces. Swing your legs over that way. And stand up. Notice I keep my hands on the client the whole time. Just make sure that they're stabilized and balanced. Rub in the product. Do not rinse it off. They cannot go home and shower. So if there's any excess, you just go ahead and rub it in. And they can get dressed and go home a slightly smaller, tighter version of themselves. I hope you enjoyed the body wrap. Time to talk about home care. The whole thing about home care that I have found really interesting in a salon situation is we cannot leave it up to clients to decide if they want to take home care to use. You can't just go to the dentist once every three months and have your teeth cleaned. You actually have to brush and floss every day. The same is true of body contouring treatments if you're looking to change your body and improve the tone and texture of your skin. We have four really beautiful products to be used at home, starting with our Green Clean. And Green Clean is a low foaming body wash, which means it doesn't create all this foam. We've taken out the sodium lauryl sulfate because that has gotten a bad name in cosmetics 
in the last five or six years. And you do want to make sure you tell the clients that it is a low foaming, but it rinses off the skin very beautifully. It has a non-gender specific fragrance. So we have found that both men and women really love it. Green Clean. Then out of the shower, couple of leave-on body products. One is Triple Splash. Triple Splash is one of those body products that I personally can't live without. Not that I can live without any of them, but Triple Splash is our water-based sodium hyaluronate hydrator. So when you're talking about hydrating the skin or moisturizing the skin, the only way you can really moisturize the skin is to add something that attracts and absorbs water and then seal it in. The Triple Splash is a sodium hyaluronate water-based hydrator. So it adds water to the skin. That's its only job. And then you seal that in with our unbelievable Botanical Blast body lotion. Really an amazing body lotion. Super rich in emollients. It is made with cold pressed oils, plant extracts, and a very high level of essential oils. And I mean a high level of essential oils. It's in glass. It has so many essential oils because if you don't put it in glass, the essential oils will actually start to break down the plastic. Last but not least is our shape shifter. Now the shape shifter's job is to stimulate circulation on what we would consider the problem areas. And really people carry weight from shoulders to hips or waist to knees. So your client is going to take what they consider their problem area and they're going to put the shape shifter on those areas only. So kind of a quick run through of what I personally do. I use the green clean in the shower as my body cleanse. I get out, I put the shape shifter on my stomach, butt and thighs. I put the triple splash everywhere else. And then I top it all off with the Botanical Blast Body Lotion. No matter what any of these have in the way of fragrance, the Shape Shifter actually is fairly strong in eucalyptus, menthol, and camphor. It will not come with you through the day. It will not argue with your perfume if you wear perfume. But that is our body products. That's the home care. Your client must use it while they are getting their body contouring treatments.